Inhale up. And exhale all the way down. One more time. Inhale all the way up. And exhale all the way down. And swing your arms through your legs and back. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Round. Roll up and reach out. And lift your legs out to the side. Now you can work as hard as you want today or as soft as you want. You know, I know how it is to be over 40 or for 50 and you got to do what you can and do your best that you can. And I trust you know your best. And march it out. Squat down and up. Squat back, down and up. Now, if you're squatting and you feel some pressure in the kneecaps, it hurts. Don't squat all the way down. Or squat back instead of towards the front. And last one. Now reach out your arms side to side. Working your waist. You feel your waist working. The side muscles are called the obliques in front, the internal, external, and the back is called the lats. All right, swing your arm over and out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Left arm, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now roll your arms, really roll your arms back. Three, four, and roll them forward. Exaggerate the roll. Two, three, and four. Now hang forward, hang forward, and do as if you're doing a two-arm row. Just do that. Good job. Four more, three more, two more, and last one. Go up and one side to side. And hold it on the right. Lean your out forearm down and pick up your left arm. And now turn your drop of your leg. Back leg, four, three, two, and one. Now flex your right foot. And center, roll up, lunge your left. Put your forearm down, come reach up with your right arm. Turn, drop your back leg, four, three, Two and one front legs, flex your foot, hold it there, and center, roll up, inhale, and exhale. Now we're gonna go to the floor. So I did this in my head last night. <laughs> go on all fours, opposite arm and leg out four times. So this counts as one, two. Then we're gonna do mountain climbers four times. So if you can't do mountain climbers, you could do whatever you want. You can do that while we do mountain climbers. But like I said, it was all on my head. So one, two, 30 seconds, three, four, one, two, three, four. Back down. One, two, three, four. And mountain climbers. One, two, 
three, four, back down, one, five more seconds, two, three, four, mountain climbers, one, two, three, and four. Now come up to squat, left, squat, and left. So we did that for 35 seconds because by the time we finished, it was 35 seconds. So this is your second move. And the third move, we're gonna use weights. Two arm rows, you can sit or stand. Five more seconds. Squat back, last one, and good job. Um, I'm gonna get five pound weights to do two arm rows, but you can use heavier because we're working larger muscles. Hinge forward, 30 seconds. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Squeeze, exaggerate your squeeze. 10 more seconds. And last one. Now we're gonna go down to four again. And ready, set, go. Opposite arm, two, three, four. Now, mountain climbers, two, three, four. Get back in your knees, one, three, four, mountain climbers. Five more se seconds, one, two, three, four, last time. One, two, three, four, come up. Oh, squat, one, lift, squat and lift. If I was really in my healthy state of mind, I would jump, squat, and lift the legs, but <laughs> five more seconds. And good job. Woo. Take the weights again and do two arm rows. So him forward and 30 seconds. Woo. We just saw the place. Five more seconds. And one more. Okay, go to the floor again to the third round. That's the last round. And put your arm out, leg out, one. Two, three, four, mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, mountain climbers. One, two, three, four. Opposite on my leg. Five more seconds. And mountain climbers. One, two, three, four. Come up. Okay, go into a squat. Lift leg. Whew. This is cardio in itself because my heart rate is up there. 15 more seconds.
Now I'm gonna get the eight pounds for the last set of two arm rows. And one more. Ooh. Eight pounds, two arm rows. Hello. And him forward, 30 seconds. I like to throw everything in the mix, you know. And forward, I had to just take a break, two more seconds and hold and rest. Now we take a water break. I apologize, I should. Leave my water right here. So the next one we're gonna do is without weights. So stand with your feet, shoulder width apart or further, and you're gonna work your arm. So right arm comes like this. So you're turning right arm and you're turning it back. Eight times, go. One, two, three, four. Now you're working your shoulder because you're keeping it up, but you're doing different things to that arm and other side. One, two, you're manipulating your body. Three, four, Five, six, seven, and eight. Now, take a deep breath in. Okay, second set. If you want to use weights on these exercises, you can. Two pounds or five pounds or even eight pounds, but I choose not to. I'm going to do two more times, but first we're going to go side to side for 30 seconds. Side to side without weights. But if you choose to, you can lift weights. But, but my, um, the idea is to get your mind and muscle connection. And by having weights, it's kind of a distraction. Unless you totally can do your mind-muscle connection. 10 more seconds. And I want you to do it pretty fairly quick. And good job. Now lift your arms up, turn it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and slide it down. 30 seconds. Keep breathing into your nose and out through your mouth. Fifteen more seconds. I want you to really tighten up your core with your mind. I have to tap with your mind, and uh, yeah, work it as hard as you can. Five more seconds, and good. Arms up again. Turn it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and left arm. One, two, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and side down, side to side. Good job. Every Saturday, we do this class at 9.15, combo cardio blast, whatever that means, with weights, with bands, we own body weight, 10 more seconds. 
This is the last round. And good job. Now tap your foot back and forth. All right. Now we're gonna do the legs. So I'm gonna have my eight pounds for right side lunges, front lunges, and down and up. 30 seconds. Just concentrate on the lunge. Keep breathing. Exhale down and inhale up. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale. Five more seconds. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed and back. And hold it. Four, three, two, one. And switch sides. So now I got my A pound. You don't even have to use weights or you can increase. And 30 seconds start now. Your front, your body weight should be in your front foot, heel of your front foot. So you feel it in the butt of your front leg. And to quadricep. Five more seconds. And four, three, two, one, and hold it. Now we're gonna do tricep kickbacks. For 30 seconds, start now. Go slow and controlled. Just move your forearm. Slow and good job. Ten more seconds. And back, hold it. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Now, same thing with the right leg. Thirty seconds. Start now. After this circuit, we'll go on the floor. Good job. Fifteen more seconds. And hold it and release. Left leg. Start now. Good job. Keep breathing, 10 more seconds. Good job. Five more seconds. And hold it down, four, three, two, one. Good job. And tricep kickbacks again, 30 seconds. Start now. Whew. Make sure you're doing it perfectly. Holding out at the top, the contraction. You wanted to know to grow lean muscle in your Chase up. Ooh, two more seconds. And hold. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. The last final set of one right leg lunge. One right leg lunge. And go. The weighted body is in the heel of your front foot. Whew. 
15 more seconds. And if you don't want to move anymore, you can challenge yourself to stay in the contraction until we're done. Four more seconds, three, two, one, and good job. Left leg. 30 seconds, start now. Good. The weight is in the front heel. Ten more seconds. Woo. I love working out and I love the ladies working out with me. And hold four, three, two, one. Oh. I didn't challenge myself that time. All right. Kick backs. One, two. You can play around with the exercise, you know? Not just what I say, you know, on your own, you can try something different. That's how we evolve, grow. Ooh. And five more seconds. And last one, hold, five, four, three, two, one. Now, take a water break if you have to or you want to. I'm gonna, because I'm already sweating. What does order sweating mean? That you're already dehydrated. I can't look for answers in the middle of my class, so. Whew. All right. All right, so I'm gonna take my um, five pound weights to the floor. I'm not gonna use it right now, but I'm gonna bring it to the floor with me. So a minute, you're gonna crab, um, inchworm out and back, inchworm out and back. But if you don't wanna inchworm, you can just do this, reach up, or dance, whatever you want. So starting now, interim, down, and back. I might just do two in a minute, you know? You can do as many as you want, but make sure your body is prepared. So make sure you're sucking in your gut, 30 more seconds. I bend my knees towards the um, end because it takes pressure off my back. Or oh, it makes me go quicker. 20 more seconds. And done. Now, come to the floor. And I want you to try to do the stretch. I like to go on my fist. You can put your hands like this. Stretch out your quads. This is part of the workout. And come back. Jump in, jump out, go on the knees, come back. Stretch out your quads. Come forward. Jump in, jump out, come back on your knees, go back to stretch your quads. 20 more seconds. Come forward, jump in, jump out, back on your knees. Go back, whoo. Go forward, jump in, jump out, back on the knees. This is the last one. And 
Good job. All right. Now, two weights. You're going to lay on your back. Oh. Okay. All right. Two weights. You're going to lift up. Okay. So, back is flat. Your knees are bent. Your arms are up. So, you're going to start down, press up, and go up. Then down and up again. And now, if you can't go up, you can just do chest. So we're working our chest down on the floor and also working our shoulders when we come up, if you understand, and in addition to your abdominal. Come on, you can do it. Thank God I took my five pounds and not my eight pounds. Whew. 10 more seconds, you can do it. Whew. And last one. Lift up, come up, put it down, and lift up and down. Good job. Turn to the side. Put the weight on your leg and lift up and down for a minute. Minute inside, and then we're going to close with just abs. So you're not only on your lifting your own body weight with your leg, you're also adding weights, unless you don't want to. But uh, this is my weight and five pounds added to it. Keep going, keep breathing. 30 more seconds. Get ready for wash and twist. <laughs> Not yet. After our other side leg. And 15 more seconds. Woo! And good job. Now the other side. Okay, a minute, and then two minutes about rest and twist and walking legs. Keep going. I could, I could only imagine if we didn't work out. I would probably be close to 200 pounds. Well, well, if I didn't work out and I wasn't into fitness, I would be heavy or uh, at least 40 pounds or 50 pounds overweight. So this does something. Five more seconds. I'm saying it does something. Woo! And rest now. Russian twist. I'm going to face forward because my butt's on the mat. And I'm taking my five pound weight and start side to side. So you lean back so that you feel tension in your abdominal to a twist side to side. For a minute.
One is in our stomach, our abs, we're breathing normally, and you should feel this in your core, and oh, almost done. 15 more seconds, you can do it. Russian twist. Woo! And ooh, rest, walking legs, but I'm gonna have you lift your arms up, your back is flat, legs are up, and start now. One leg at a time. Ooh. So think about if you didn't, you were unhealthy or conscious of your health. Think about that. I would be eating salt foods like crazy, potato chips, um, cheeses, bread, brother, galore. I would be eating steak every night. No, I'm just exaggerating. But picture yourself if you didn't have a healthy mind, you know, um, healthy lifestyle. 10 more seconds. Access. I'm going to ask that on my social media. How much would you weigh if you would totally? Yeah, I'm going to reverse the scenario. Not everybody should be healthy. I'm going to say, what if you weren't healthy? All right. <laughs> now that I spoke my mind, thank you for coming and have your hands back and your legs forward. And I like this stretch after the workout because it stretches all your core, you know, your abdominal, from your rib cage down to your pubic bone, hip bones. And good job. Now bring one leg and the other and go side to side. Okay. Now legs to one side and on the opposite. It feels so good now. And come to the other side. I find when I don't work, I don't put exercises that are too hard consistently, like five instead of two. Um, you know, I enjoy the feeling. Okay. Knees up, inhale and exhale up. Go on all fours right up into a cobra. Lift your arm off. You lift your face up towards the ceiling and stretch it all the way back. Lift your face up and stretch it all the way back. And good job. Now go into a downward dog. Put your knees in and out. In and out. Now just extend, hold, five, four, three, two, one. Now come up and roll it up. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Thank you, ladies, very much. And I'll see you when I see you, probably Monday night.